Hi guys, it's Anthony from EasyWP Guide here. Well, the big news for this week is the release of WordPress 3.8. Each year, the core WordPress developers try to make a new theme that showcases some of the new features of uh, the WordPress software. With the release of 3.8, they've released this new theme called 2014. It's a sleek magazine styled theme. As you can see, it looks a little bit different some, from some of the past themes we've seen. This one is, you'll notice, one of the first things you'll notice is that it is actually left aligned down the left-hand side of your screen. So rather than the site being centred within the browser window, it is left aligned down the side. Uh, you'll also see the great use of the big featured images for each of the different posts. If we click on one of the images here and or click on the post title and have a look at the actual post, we can see the markup or the, uh, the topography is really clean, has some really nice fonts and it makes it really easy to read. Up the top of the site we have our primary navigation and again we've got the use of drop down menus if you need them. We also have a navigation on the left hand side as well, similar to the way the WordPress dashboard menus work in that the has, has a little flyout menu for your sub menus. Just below that we have a sidebar content, as is typical for a lot of blogs, you can have whatever sort of widgets in there to make up your sidebar. One of the other great features is this featured content area at the top of the site. This featured content area will basically display whatever posts you want simply by tagging them with the keyword of featured. You can even change that keyword if you want to change it to uh, something else. You can display the featured posts in a grid format like this or if you go over to the theme customizer, let me just jump in here now and we have a look at the featured content, we can even display those posts as a slider, so again like a typical sort of homepage slider. And we can go back to the grid. And if we have a look here, this is the word here that you tag your posts with to display your content in that featured area. Again, as I mentioned, we have a number of different menus. We have a, the primary navigation at the top and we have our secondary navigation down the left hand side. As you can see here, the page is displaying some nice large images for each of the featured images for the posts. If you've got some extra content that you need to display though, you can actually include an extra sidebar down the side here. So if we just jump over the dashboard again and have a look in widgets, we have our primary sidebar, which is, as I mentioned, the one down the left hand side, and we also have this content sidebar. So for example, if we add a widget in here, we'll just call it recent posts. And if we jump back to the site and refresh the page, you can see this extra sidebar content displayed down the side here. And obviously to accommodate that sidebar, the images or the main featured images have shrunk in size as well. So it just gives you a little bit extra room if you've got extra content that you need to display. And that's about it for me. Again, if you want to have a look at this new theme, you just jump over to your dashboard and then have a look in the themes menu. You'll see in this newly laid out themes page, uh, you'll see this new theme 2014 is now available in WordPress 3.8. So jump in, have a look at it, and let me know what you think of it. Thanks. Bye.